Absolutely. Pedro and Cher, as you said, tonight we are hearing from the victim of this violent attack, which happened on Friday afternoon here in downtown Long Beach. She tells us she is speaking out to warn other women and also to push for tougher laws to keep criminals behind bars. I mean, I'm just lucky that it happened in daylight and not at night because then I probably would have been raped. You're about to see a sexual attack caught on camera. Rebecca Peterson is simply walking in downtown Long Beach, unaware that a man watching her jumps up from the sidewalk, unzips his pants and starts following her. Then within seconds, he pounces, pulling up her skirt, thrusting against her and knocking her to the ground. Another man sitting nearby springs into action and appears to try to pepper spray the attacker who walks, then runs away. In that moment, I had no idea. My first initial thought was like, is this someone I know, like paying a joke on me or something like that, you know? And then it was like a matter of seconds. I was like, oh no, and he's not letting me go. So I just turned real quick and then fell to the ground. I screamed profanities <laughs> and then um, asked what the hell just happened. And then there was an older gentleman there that was um, ran him off with pepper spray. And he asked me if I was okay. And I was just, I don't know, I just kept asking like what the hell just happened um, in my head. Long Beach police say they located a suspect hours later and arrested 30-year-old Miguel Avila, who is homeless. He was booked on suspicion of sexual battery and, in an unrelated case, theft of personal property. People who live and work in the area describe it as increasingly dangerous. They are urging city leaders to take decisive action to improve public safety. The store right over here, the owner was hit in the head with a vodka bottle. She had 11 staples in her head and had teeth knocked out. We had a resident of the neighborhood right here was walking his dog at 545. He was clocked in the head with a pipe and had to go to the hospital for 11 days in ICU. Um, so it's, it's all the time. I'm okay. I'm just a little bit more spooked. You know, someone comes up behind me and I'm a little bit more reactive. <laughs> Every woman needs to be armed with something to protect themselves and take defense classes. That's what I'm about to just start doing. Bail for Miguel Avila was set at $1,000. The investigation continues. Reporting live in Long Beach, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.